Hey, John Sonmez from SimpleProgrammer.com. So I got another question here. I'm finally catching up with all the questions that have been in my inbox, and this is the last one for today, but this is a really good one, so pay attention. This question is about basically whether or not you should roll your own or use a commercial off-the-shelf product for launching your business online. So this question goes, Hey John, I'm emailing you again because I have another question. I emailed you previously about renting property. I'm thinking of opening an online store, something I've wanted to do for a long time and one of the harder decisions I seem to have in front of me is whether I want to use something like Shopify or build a custom solution. Being a developer makes me want to go the custom route. I'll have full control over everything and I won't pay for what I don't need, such as I may get a bunch of nice tools and stuff with a third party solution, but I'm only using 30% of what they offer. I can build features as I need it. However, with third party tool, everything is already there. I don't have to think about how to do something that has already been done, but going the custom route would be a cool thing to put on my resume for my day job. What are your thoughts? What advice would you give in this situation? Thanks, James. So James, here's the deal. Um, I think that you know, in almost all cases, I would recommend that you you use something like Shopify. And this is, might seem a little bit weird because I'm a software developer. Shouldn't I recommend that you write your own, right? And, and can't you write your own? So the, the thing is, it's hard enough to start a business, right? So what you don't want to do is make it harder by starting two businesses at the same time, especially one business where you will only have one customer, right? Which is yourself. So what I mean by this is that if you build your own e-commerce platform or way to, to sell online, sure, you might have the capability to do it. Um, you know, you'll probably underestimate how difficult it is, but let's, let's assume that you have the capability and time and, and you can do it and, and you don't underestimate how difficult it is and you plan that in. Well, that is, is definitely going to be a significant undertaking, but you and and you you will essentially have as a customer yourself right this, this whatever company that you're trying to build whatever you're trying to sell from there so that's going to be the only customer that you have so that you know that business which it really is a business if you're building some software that's going to be used commercially is only going to have one customer and I mean, maybe in the future you could sell it and advertise and whatnot, but then you're talking about a much bigger scale of a thing. If you're building a thing just for you to utilize, uh, you know, if you can get away with just using a, a product that already exists out there like Shopify, that's going to be a lot better, right? Because trying to, it's hard enough to start an online store. So um, you said that, uh, I didn't see what kind of, business, uh, so, well, you said just an online store, so you didn't say specifically, but anyway, building an online store is not easy, right? This is going to be difficult. It's going to require work, uh, just just building out, even if you're using some of just software, just building out the store, advertising, how are you going to get people to come to it, what are you going to, are you going to source products, all of this stuff, right? Are you going to drop ship? How are you going to do this, right? And what are you going to sell? That's all difficult, complicated. It's a lot of work in itself. So trying to build software on top of that is just going to stretch your tooth in, especially if you're working a full-time job. I would not recommend it at all. Now, with that said, if you get big, if you succeed, right? If you build this online store and, you're, and you find that you, you have customized needs for specific needs that aren't being fulfilled by one of these vendors, then you could build your own platform. But you'd at least have someone funding you, right? Because you'd have the first business funding your second business venture, which is to build the software. A lot of companies end up doing this, right? Um, so, so you know, if you if you have revenue from your online store, then that tells you that the idea is working, that it's, it's worth investing more into. So, you know, one of the things that I, I try to always recommend to you when you're starting a new business is to invest as little as possible, right? You you don't know if things are going to succeed or fail. You don't know if you're going to have to pivot or change direction, right? So you don't want to be putting a huge amount of effort into something that ultimately could fail, especially if this is your first uh, array into 
online sales, right? C creating your first business online is likely to be a failure, right? Let's be honest about this. You know, I don't want you to fail. Nobody wants to fail, but it's probably not going to be as spectacular of a success that you would like because there's a huge learning curve here, right? So anticipate the learning curve and, and by doing so, that means make it so that you put as little investment in as possible. Now, obviously, you're going to have to invest a lot of time and a lot of work to try and make it successful. I'm not saying to, to back off there, but what I'm saying is don't invest your time building some kind of platform that might end up being a total waste of time. Instead, let's see how quickly, you know, you talk about MVP or minimal viable product. How quickly can you get your MVP up? How quickly can you get a store up? you leveraging other software that's built, you know, and and make it as easy as possible for you to test the idea, to see what are the problems that you're going to face that are going to be difficult because you don't know what they are yet, right? You don't know the, the things that are going to be difficult and you don't even really know what kind of software to build for your online store anyway until you have it running because, you know, we have this business idea in our head. We think we know how a business is going to run and then we see how it actually runs and then that's then we actually know what we need. So in the future, maybe you'll end up building your own storefront. But for now, use someone else's, you know, get things up and running, see if you can get some success first and then make the decision. Uh, you know, chances are at that point, you really won't want to build custom software. You'll want to go with what's working or, or maybe buy software from a more expensive vendor that's already doing what you need. But if you do have a reason to customize at that point, then it'll be well justified. It'll be funded. Hopefully by that time you'll have quit your job because you're doing su such success. You're having such success online selling your products that uh, that it'll it'll make a lot sense a lot of sense to move it to the next step and and you'll have the time to do it. But working a full time job trying to start one online business and then build the software to run that business is going to be difficult. So I, I would definitely steer away from it. Okay, a little bit of a long drawn out answer. But uh, but yeah, bottom line is keep it simple, you know, MVP it and uh, and good luck with this. I hope that you succeed. It's exciting. It's difficult. Most people don't stick it out. If you do stick it out, then, uh, you know, don't worry about failing because you can keep on trying. You only really fail with a capital F when you give up. So so keep going. Uh, I, I want to see some results. Update me. Let me know what's going on. And, uh, and I'd, I'd like to definitely share your results if you have uh, some success or failure or lessons learned from this whole process. All right. Well, hopefully that helps you. And, and if you're out there listening and, and you've been thinking about this same thing about starting an online business, hopefully that will help you as well. Uh, one, one quick thing I'll advertise here real quick is that I have a free course on creating a blog. Not quite the same thing as creating an online store, but I found that in your software development career, one of the best ways to really boost your career is to create a blog. Uh, and, and I can share my tips on creating a successful blog. Simpleprogrammer.com gets over 3,000 page views a day. Uh, it, it wasn't easy to do that. It didn't happen overnight. But I share those secrets in a free email course that I started uh, putting out there now called um, How to Create a Blog That Boosts Your Career. You can sign up. I'll put the link in the description for this video. But, uh, but definitely check it out if you're interested. It's, uh, it's not quite as ambitious as creating an, an online store or business, but it's definitely a good place to start if you have the interest of creating something on the web and sharing what you're working on and, and doing something that will benefit your career. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.